So thanks everyone for, for being here. People will be moving in and out and that's fine. Um, but firstly, I just want to thank Pam Atkinson, who's over here. She manages the Better Work Tasmania program. Um, it's a great opportunity this morning to, for us all to collaborate on building a, a deeper understanding of how mentally healthy workplaces are really fundamental to creating great places to work and achieving business results. We're going to hear more from Pam later. Um, this morning also, this is the first event that we're holding for 2017 in the ongoing partnership between Employer of Choice and WorkSafe Tasmania. And um, I also want to acknowledge the work of Cameron Blight, who's still getting his free resources ready. There's plenty of those, but Cameron, thank you um, for his help um, in building this partnership between the two organisations. It's been really um, very fruitful for all of us. Um, and we'll hear more from Cameron shortly. Um, it's, it's well known that employee health and wellbeing is, is a key driver of business success and Tasmania's employers of choice understand this and continue to build caring organisations which focus on enabling people to be in their best condition physically and mentally to undertake their work. Um, there's a number of employer of choice organisations represented here today and that's great. Um, we're at the moment judging the 2017 awards and we've got some more very high quality organisations that are going to come through and, and win those awards this year. So, so that's, a, that's excellent that, that the momentum keeps going. Um, so the focus today on mentally healthy workplaces um, is really important but uh, I, I just want to point to um, a project that we ran last year on work-life balance with uh, the Employer of Choice um, program because it, it really points to um, mental health as one of a number of um, facets in an organisation that are important and, and it all comes for us under the banner of work-life balance. Um, it, it's, it's clear that um, lives and work intersect um, at various points um, in various time frames. We all work, um, we all have a life and increasingly organisations are starting to recognise that they have an impact on people's lives when they're not at work and vice versa. People's lives impact on their work. Um, and so we had Nick Stevens, who's a consultant in this area, work up um, uh, this graphic, which really is a very good indicator of, um, of work-life balance. Um, and mental health is, is an imp really important. It's integral to how we work with this intersection of life and work. So work and career, health and recreation, family, friends and community all join together um, as a life balance. And increasingly now we've got a lot of organisations, particularly employers of choice, who understand how this works and who actively um, enable people in their workplace to achieve a work-life balance. Um, we've got uh, we developed five videos and case studies last year. We're just, they're just get going through final production at the moment, but they'll be up on our website shortly. Um, and so that'll be a really good resource for people to go in and see how organisations are working in this space. Um, so it's, again, as with mental health, it's different for each person. And so an organisation has to be able to understand the individuals in its workforce. Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all, and, and that's the challenge. Um, so what the impact of an organisation doing work in this space is that people are happier, they retained longer in the organisation and they're more productive. And we see evidence of that in the Employer of Choice Network uh, constantly. So it's really important that, that we think about um, what we're going to be talking about today in terms of mental health as part of a whole range of things that we need to be thinking clearly around work-life balance. Um, employers report um, that they have 
better financial performance, they attract, they retain, they've got diversity and inclusion, um, and they've got improved engagement and productivity. And, and that's the key to building a successful business. So today, that's what we're about. Um, we're about thinking about how we can be better in the mental health space, and that's going to improve our businesses. So I think we're going to start now with a couple of questions. And we've got, um, you might notice on your table, there's a little plate with some um, digital things, what are, what, whatever they're called. <laughs> A little pad with some numbers on it. It's a, it's, this, is your, this is our voting, this is our live voting mechanism. Um, we've never tried this before, so we're going to see how it works. Um, and we're going to put up some questions. And what we'd like you to do, there, there, there may not be one for each person at the table, but that's OK, because we'll run the question twice. We'll do it in two batches. So if you actually haven't got um, one of the little pads, just wait and we'll do the question twice and you'll get an opportunity to, to vote um, this in the second round. So Pam, can we, can, we get the, can we get the first question up? Here we go. Okay, so uh, we'd just like to ask, how does your business value a mentally healthy workplace? So you choose number one, two, three or four. Um, and if you can vote on that now. And then once everyone's had a go, do we pass that over now, Pam? No, oh, okay. So Righto. And then do we go back to zero? Yep. And now do we do it again for the people who didn't? Okay, if you didn't vote the first time because you didn't have a pad, do it now, please. Okay. No, that was fine because I think most people had one. Okay. So now we should get a graph. There we go. Okay, so 40% of you say that it's extremely important, 38% say important, 19% not important, and four don't know. Okay, so overwhelmingly 78% say it's important, and hopefully that's why you're all here today. I, maybe I'd like to see by the end of the day that the 19% not important disappears to nothing, but that's, what, that's our challenge. That's what, gonna, what we're going to work on. Okay, so now we've got question two. So, how well does your business deliver a mentally healthy workplace? What's actually happening? Now we've seen 78% of you value it. What's actually going on in your workplace? How well are you delivering on that in terms of having a mentally healthy workplace? the end of the first. If you could hand over to someone who didn't get a chance that time, we'll go for the second round. Good. Okay. How well delivered? Oh, with, are these the two rounds? Yeah, combine. So we combine them, okay. So very well, we've got roughly, you know, a bit less than 20%. Well is a bit over 30%. So a third of you are doing well. Maybe we could say half are doing well or very well, and the rest not well. Okay, so that's half of the room that um, has a real opportunity this morning to actually think, talk, understand, learn about some of the strategies that you can put in place to improve it. Um, 
And that's, again, that's the purpose of this morning. And, and again, probably uh, what we really want to do in this, hopefully we've got 20 minutes as a networking session that we're all here, is for those that are doing it well, is to share some of their stories, share some of their successes, share some of the strategies that are in place in your workplace that's making it better in terms of mental health with those who maybe are in a place where it's not well understood. So that's, that's what we'd really like to happen um, now, because I guess, uh, have we got another, is there another question? Yes, there is. Right, good. <laughs> Um, so again, so now, now this is the detail. What kind of strategies? What have you seen work in your business in creating a mentally healthy workplace? And we've got at least half of you that could probably point to some of these things. Um, you, you only get to put one number, don't you, Pam? It's just... Yeah, okay. So choose what's best. What do you think is the best strategy? Okay, and pass it over. Okay, and the results are capability and skill of managers and having the conversation. Looks like it's the key, the key one, management support. So again, it's, it's often what we find um, in great places to work is that leadership is really important. Um, and so getting leaders capable in this space is, is really critical. Um, positive workplace culture, is, is one of the benefits as well. Um, and there are, other, there are others there that are important but a bit less important. So again, these things will be the focus of the conversation that, that we now want to have. And we're going to leave that pretty open to you people. Um, before we start, has everyone got their name tag? If you haven't, there's a label, there's a sticky label, please put it on because we're going to ask you to stand up and uh, talk to some people that you're not sitting with. Um, so we know that mentally healthy workplaces have a few things in common, positive workplace culture, leadership. Um, we know that stress and other risks to mental health are managed and we know that people with mental health conditions are supported. The, these are the things that we know. Um, the aim of today is to turn what we know into what we do and we want you walking out of here with an action plan and you can start that now in the conversations that you're about to have. Um, Cameron doesn't let you out the door unless you've got something written down as an action that you're going to do in the next week so that's, that's the aim that everybody needs to have before 12.30 today. So we've got a chance now to have a chat about it. Um, we'll have... Oh yeah, this is the question. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yep, so, so again, now, now's, the, now's the chance to, to learn from each other. We've got some fantastic speakers that are really going to help um, everybody to get on the same page in terms of how they integrate a mental health strategy in their workplace. Um, that's the aim of, of today, is to have those two things happening. Um, businesses do really well by learning from each other, um, but we've also got some experts that, that are going to 
help us all get on the right on the right path. So take the opportunity now. We've got 20 minutes before we uh, have to sit down again. Um, and here's your question. Um, how could you improve the mental health of your workplace? Please use the resources that are in the room um, to, to start getting some answers to that. Thank you.